Hello, today is April 20, 2011. On this day, back in the year 1863, Helen Dorch Longstreet was born. Helen was the second wife and widow of Confederate General James Longstreet. Helen was known as the Fighting Lady because she was involved in a number of causes, including the creation of Confederate monuments, civil rights, and the protection of the environment. In addition, Helen was a Rosie the Riveter during World War II. In honor of Helen's birthday, I thought I would dig into the archives and pull out a few items for you. They include a press photograph of her, a Life magazine from 1943 which features an article about her, three letters, and a check signed by her. Right now I'm going to turn the camera over so you can get a closer look. Here are the items. This could also be considered a signature study since I have a few variations of her signature here. First is a letter from 1949. Her signature is on the reverse. Here you can see her full name, Helen Dorch Longstreet. Next is a letter from 1952. Here you see once again Helen Dorch Longstreet in its entirety. The final letter is also from 1952. It features only the initials this time. And the last signed item is a check from the year 1951. And here you see Helen D. Longstreet. This is an Associated Press photograph or a fragment of one, at least. This most likely was issued in the year 1958. The photo itself, according to the text, is from 1950. Finally, here is the issue of Life magazine from 1943, Confederate General's Widow. Here you can see Helen on a riveting machine. Here she is working as a Rosie the Riveter during World War II.
and the final picture features Helen with her late husband, the General James Longstreet. This concludes my video in honor of Helen Longstreet's birth anniversary. I thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.